everyone, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. I know, no face cam, I'm sorry. I have my new desk set up and I haven't gotten my camera set up. So it's gonna be maybe a week or so without the face cam just because I'm trying to find a desk mount, but I'm not even gonna ramble because we have a brand new pair of lives update. And I was just talking about this on Twitter the past couple of days. I've been manifesting a pair of lives update because it has been so long since we've gotten an update from them. It's been, I think a few weeks. It's been since August 13th, I think. So we have August 6th, we have August 13th, and then September 3rd, but this was just a job posting. And then yesterday, we have an update for that. I might make a separate video on that. But today's video is going to be all about the new video clip that they posted. I haven't watched it yet. I wanted to save my reaction for this video, but they tweet, new video, Sebastian's summer. Also, we just reached 100,000 Twitter followers. That's crazy. Add Paralyzed to your wishlist on Steam. So this is a 30 second video clip already 4.2k views on this thing and it's only been up for 12 freaking minutes you guys already know what we are going to do we're going to open this thing up and we are going to watch it i am so freaking excited we can zip line are you are you freaking serious look at how beautiful everything looks oh my gosh the trees are so lush and so green oh my gosh look he's sunburnt he has he has a little bit of suntan lotion on his face but his arms his shoulders and his neck and upper her chest are actually sunburned. This is so important, guys. It's the little details like this that really make a life simulation game a life simulation game. Of course, we have the same room that we saw once before when they first introduced Sebastian. We have the fridge. We have the little foyer. The boots, which do belong to Sebastian. Oh my gosh, a freaking bookshelf. Oh my god, it moves. A hidden bookshelf? A secret door behind a bookshelf? Oh, this has to be leading somewhere. But I think it's really cool how you can actually have your paras take off their shoes when entering the house. So they have added to the thread. I did leave a comment on this without watching it, of course. It says, things you will be able to do in para lives. Place a zip line between point A and point B and let your paras enjoy it. Jump into a pool from a high place if your para is brave enough. Set a house rule so paras remove their shoes when entering a house. I love that. And use a secret bookcase. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, guys. This is so exciting. Let's see what some of the community members have to say about this. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but the house roll thing has me the most excited. Oh no, I agree as well. Removing shoes in the house was something I have always wanted in The Sims. As a Japanese, having tatami in the house and walking on it with shoes just hurts my soul. Brave enough. So is bravery an in-game characteristic of each para? Or do you mean like how we think the paras would? behave. I know, right? So many questions I have. The para characteristic trait system is definitely one feature that have been piquing my interest. I'm so ready for you all to take my money. House rules are such a great feature. And I like that because you can actually choose if you want your para to do this or not. It's not forced upon you. Not every para is going to have to take their shoes off when they enter the house. You can set this so your paras can either do it or not do it depending on what you set. I freaking love that. Where is my naked mud fight? Oh my god, I love the idea of house rules, removing shoes. Amazing. Thank you. This seriously looks incredible, guys. I want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts. And you know what? I might as well do the other one in this video as well. I'm not even going to make a separate video for yesterday's news. What I'm going to do is just do this in this one. So they did release a post yesterday. Do you have a disability, chronic illness, impairment, or are you neurodivergent? We would like to hear your feedback with with this survey. I'm trying to like maneuver myself in the chair because I'm not comfortable. I don't have much room at my desk right now because my freaking bed is still in the middle of the room from painting. So I'm kind of like squashed into my desk. This survey is meant to educate ourselves on what could be added to the game and what should not. We don't intend on adding specific mental illnesses or physical disabilities, but rather positive focused actions, traits, and characteristics. And I totally understand that. Totally, totally understand that. So they actually released a survey on Google Docs. I'm going to read it for you guys right here. Go away, Gorman. No one asked for your opinion. Paralyzed Community Survey, Disabilities, Illness, Impairments, and Neurodiversity. Our aim for Paralyzed is representation without real life limitations. Disclaimer, we do not wish to gamify serious or painful elements. We don't intend on adding specific mental illnesses or physical disabilities, but rather positive focused actions, traits, and characteristics that could be quite universal. And that would allow you to recreate the storyline you want. This survey is meant to educate ourselves and learn more about what could 
should be added to the game and what should not. If something is too tricky to portray respectfully, we won't. This survey is divided in four main sections. Feel free to only answer sections slash questions you relate to and are comfortable with. Include any details you feel important to your answers, customization options, toggles. Number one, gameplay features, elements that impact the overall gameplay. Number two, personality and support system, relevant traits and ways of helping. Number three, items and physical characteristics, easy to implement items and characteristics that have little to no influence on gameplay. Number four, resources, links, examples, and feedback to share with the team. Your answers will be kept private and secure. If you wish to, you can tell us the disabilities, illnesses, and impairments or conditions you have here. So on the next page, we have gameplay features, elements that impact overall gameplay. These are examples to guide you. They are not confirmed features. An example would be wheelchair gameplay, service dog gameplay. Oh, I would love that. Oh, so much gibberish, sign language, stay at home gameplay. What daily actions related to your disability, impairment, illness, or condition would you like to see in the game? You can leave an answer here. What could be the problem of representing such elements in the game? Would there be any accommodations needed? I love that they're doing this. This is so nice. This really makes the game feel so inclusive to everyone. The fact that they really want to know and they want to implement as much as they can it's just, it's amazing. For example, what would the wheelchair do when a user created house has no ramp? What animations or interactions would you like to see in the game? Example, do a wheelie with the wheelchair, hand flapping, etc. And what things, oversimplifications, would you find inappropriate you do not want to see in the game? Example, pair of folk magically walking when the wheelchair can't go over obstacles. Oh my God, that would be so disrespectful if something like that were to happen. It definitely changes the whole course of, you know, having a para that's disabled if something like that happens. Personality and support system, relevant traits and ways of helping. What personality traits linked to your disability would you like to see in the game? What personality traits would you not like to see in the game? Stereotypes that you find offensive. I'm glad that they touch base with that. What do you do to relax and recharge your batteries? If you need psychological support or physical help from other people, how do you find it and how are they helping you? What actions taken by the school or workplace to support you would you like to see in the game? They did their homework. These are great questions. Items and physical characteristics, easy to implement items and characteristics that have little to no influence on gameplay. These are examples to guide you. They are not confirmed features. Examples would be prosthetics, hearing aids, wheelchair gloves, and STEM toys. What items slash accessories that are part of your daily life would you like to see in the game? What specific physical characteristics would you like to see in the game? And what items or physical characteristics would you find inappropriate you do not want to see in the game. I have a lot of anxiety disorders, so I like to fidget with things. So if there was any way that they could implement objects that your paras could fidget with to help them would actually be really cool in my opinion, just a personal preference. Resources, links, examples, and feedback to share with the team. Are there visual and audio elements to steer clear of? Are there games or mods representing your disability, impairment, illness, or condition? Do you have any educative links or people to follow in order to learn more about it? Is there anything we forgot in the survey that you wish to talk about? And on the final page, contact. By leaving your email address, you agree to the team possibly contacting you for a personal interview. Oh my God. This is amazing. We might reach out to some respondents in order to further develop certain aspects. It is not required to leave your email address if you prefer your answers to remain anonymous. So you can leave your email address, but it is optional. Know that. Well, let me know what you guys think about not only the Sebastian video clip, but about the survey as well. This is just amazing that they would do this. Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. You guys already know what I think of this. This is just absolutely amazing. I love each and every one of you guys to the moon and back. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining and informative, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment down below and follow me on social media. Links are down in the description box below. I love each and every one of you guys to the moon and back and I will see you all next time. So long and happy simming. Bye everyone.